is the day from Oranika.com and we're on our way to the mine this morning. Well, the, the mine, the prospecting spot. And uh, our trip has been delayed. Why? <laughs> There's about a million cows in the road right here. I don't think I've ever seen this many cows in one herd going down a road before. So, uh, actually our turn is right up ahead here. Um, but we gotta wait for these guys to get through here first. So, soon we'll be out prospecting. Today's plan is uh, basically to collect rock samples. We're gonna do some metal detecting. I don't think we're gonna run the gold hog today. Um, we're just gonna collect rocks. We're gonna bust up some rocks, see what we can find. So, today's gonna be a little different than, than past days, but should be fun and should be interesting with all we learned yesterday. And I'm sorry I'm bouncing the camera around, but I'm trying to drive and run the camera at the same time. Hi, this is Dave, once again from Ornica.com. Um, I'm out here. Uh, today what we're doing is um, we're looking at rocks. Uh, basically, we're uh, taking samples of rock. Um, we're going from place to place and we're taking the sample and I'm using a Sharpie to write a number on the rock and uh, record where I got it from. And the way I'm recording the position, and I don't think you're going to be able to see this, but I will show you. I have an iPhone application that's actually a compass, but it also gives me the uh, longitude and latitude down to like the hundredth of a second. Um, so I know exactly where I am um, on planet Earth. And so I know exactly where these rock samples came from. Um, my plan is to take these rocks back with me and get them tested at a lab to see uh, see what's in them. Um, in the little area I've been digging these rocks out, we, we, we've been testing with a metal detector um, to see what kind of readings we get. And uh, like the first spot, I, I took a sample of the dirt um, right over here on this bank. I, I dug around these rocks, dug the dirt out and took it down to that little pond down there and panned it out. And I didn't find any gold in the pan, but I did find, uh, what, again, what I think is platinum. Um, I seem to find, I'd be finding a lot of platinum on this property. And you can see the little area I'm checking right here is this little ditch. And again, it's the dry season here. So this is dry right now. Um, but water flows down to here to this pond. And it flows down from this hill to this pond. And there's another stream. There's a bunch of dry waterfalls actually up here that I'm going to go check out a little later. Um, I haven't gone this way on this property yet. So I'm going to work my way up the, this hill. Um, and after seeing what the guys were doing yesterday at the uh, artisanal mine, um, I think uh, I think this is the way to go to check check the actual rocks to see what's in them. So I'll keep you posted throughout the day. This is Dave again from Oronika.com. Um, what we're doing here right now is we're using the metal detector uh, to find uh, good signals um, for gold. Um, this this detector does a pretty good job of uh, giving you good tones that indicate when gold might be present um, or other precious metals for that matter so we've, we've found these rocks here and so we've been busting some of these rocks up and you might be able to see like they've got these nice quartz veins in them um, this one actually looks like it may be uh, have some copper in it it's got it, it's rusty on the bottom which indicates iron but it's also got some some greenish tint to it um, a lot of copper in the area we've already found some platinum today again seems to be a lot of platinum here um, so that's uh, what we're up to at this moment we're busting up rocks and that's probably going to be the plan for today bust up rocks and take samples this is Dave again from oronica.com and once again I uh, wanted to show you this this is pretty wild um, I've said this many times but it's the dry season here so a lot of the water ways dry up completely in this time of year and I'm standing in one of them and uh, this is like the coolest thing in the world um, we have all these little uh, the stream where the water comes down here um, we have all these big cracks and crevices and waterfalls um, this is pretty amazing um, we're not going to do any panning and digging like that today um, it's kind of hard when it's dry like this uh, we're not equipped for that but um, 
you can see all these great places that would trap gold um, during the rainy season um, this would just be you know roaring water you can see actually how high up on the banks it's been eroded um, the water gets really high up in here so what we're doing today is we're just checking rocks um, well you can hear them in the background busting up rocks but we're, we're busting them to take samples take them back to get them tested to see what's in them but uh, this is a really cool area I can't wait to come back during the rainy season and uh, actually try to uh, uh, maybe dredge some of this area and see what's up here. Hi, this is Dave from Moranika.com. Um, we're out here sampling rocks today and I've been working with the metal detector and looking at different rocks and what I've come to realize is starting way up, which you can't see on top of this hill, um, I've been kind of methodically working my way down with the metal detector and I think that there is actually a vein of gold running down this hill because I can come down here and um, basically I'm getting good strong signals and then I fan out and the signal goes away and I come back towards the middle and the signal gets stronger um, so I think I'm narrowing this down and, and it seems like it's quite a sizable vein um, here uh, obviously what I can't tell is how deep it is um, some some of these veins can can be thousands of feet deep um, you know this one I, I have no idea but it's it's a good uh, good sign that it's going up the hill um, at this point I seem to have lost it at the bottom of this hill um, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna start working there's a little stream down here which I got to be careful because there's a little alligator in it um, but I'm going to start working up this stream and uh, see if I can pick up a, another trail. I'm pretty sure there's another vein or more veins down that way um, because we did find gold down there. But I'll have to figure out where it is. But just wanted to let you know what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Uh, basically, just uh, sample, sample, sample with the metal detector and, and, and then bust up rocks and... those all tested at the lab and uh, see what they say so more later this is Dave for and uh, I'm back here metal detecting um, in this spot that I found it's absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to get up here because that is a big waterfall there's no water going over it right now but as you can hear the metal detector has been sounding off pretty good back here we got a lot of nice uh, gravel bars going here getting a lot of good readings back in here the kind of the weird thing is the uh, the gold back here is all in the rocks there's not really much loose placer gold um, but these are like giant slabs of bedrock back here um, this whole thing is very rocky canyon and uh, when this uh, during the wet season this is just a roaring river and now it's just a little trickle so I'm having fun back here metal detecting and picking up some rock samples more later this is Dave Moranika we're heading back home after today's adventure and just thought I'd show you one of the crazy things you'll see here in Nicaragua Notice that there's a guy up on top of this bus. We're going about 45 miles an hour and he's just gonna climb down. No big deal. Fun place.